but it's so hot. Woo! And my beautiful flowers, of which I love and live. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi Desaluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you're so very welcome indeed. In my last episode, I was talking about the four siblings that were able to survive in the Amazon jungle. And to my surprise, a lot of you said you wanted my five cents on the Ocean Gate submissible. It is hot. It is hot in here. I don't know whether I can open this window. <laughs> Let me use uh, a bill <laughs> that I have paid. <laughs> Makes me feel better. So my darlings, we had the Ocean Gate submissible where we lost five lives. As far as I am concerned, a life is a life. A loss is a loss. And we lost five men, including a father and a son, of which we now find out they were British Pakistani. The father was a British Pakistani millionaire, and he took his son, a university student of 19 years old, to have a father and son bonding experience for Father's Day of which we are now learning from his aunt, of which he did not want to go. He just kind of had cold feet. I've also found out that there was an, an American father and son who opted out because the son had alerted to the dad that they were not just too comfortable with the engineering and the process of this. Ocean Gate started out, I think in 2020, and it costs a quarter of a million to go down and see what is left of the Titanic. How ironic. And so they set off and they didn't come back. Um, I've been watching a lot of snippets of the Ocean Gate, submissible. And one of the gentlemen said, an engineer, he said, you can imagine um, Empire State Building, one Empire State Building made of lead. That was the pressure they had sitting on them. And it was a catastrophic implosion. And they died instantly. They would not have even felt it. It would have been a blink of an eye. And there are no um, remains. Everything would have turned to sand. And it is that that they saw on the ocean floor. They had, I think, um, a deep sea robot who was able to look and see what was very much aligned with what would have been the remains of the submissible. Five men, two of them billionaires, and um, passionate about what they did. And it was all over. I followed the story too. Cardi B followed the story too. She mentioned to one of the stepsons of the submissible five that he should not be at a concert, that he should be feeling terrible about what is going on because they cannot be found. On the other side, on the far coast of Greece, there were 700 migrants. Majority of them were mothers and children, and they were fleeing their countries from terrible circumstances. Most of those on that shipwreck were from Pakistan, India, Syria, Egypt, and Afghanistan. The Greek authorities were aware of this for 12 hours and even when they began to have engine problems and did not reach out to help. So we have, for argument's sake, some people can say, well, they left their country, 
they are the ones that put themselves in this position. They are trying to come into another country uninvited. And that is true. But they are fleeing their countries because of the terrible circumstances, because of war, looking for a better life. And they will do anything and everything to make sure that if it's not for them, at least for their children, and many of them could not swim. And unfortunately, about 700 of them died. And I did not even know about this story until it began to get, sorry, that's the door. I did not know about this story until it began to get traction because of the submissible five. That's what I'm calling them. Why are we as humans like this? Because people are fascinated with the rich. Because the submissible five that took a deep dive for curiosity and paid quarter of a million to go deep sea diving, their lives are somehow worth more. Because the way that they lived does not match up with the way that they've died. And that is what is shocking. That even in death, we are aghast. That look at the life they had, look at the money they had, look at the money, they, look, at, look at the lifestyle that they had. That we admired, we looked up to, we wanted to rub shoulders with, we wanted to make that kind of money. We might have imagined what it would be to have that kind of money in excess. That kind of 250000 just to go on a trip. And yet, good majority of us, we're hustling, we're grinding, and we say, oh wow. Because I think that's what it is, that with all of that money, this Lord and Father, we pray upstairs, he doesn't look at any of that. When it's time for you to go, you're going to go. That's the wow. That with all the money, with the lifestyle, with the fabulosity, you're going and you're going like that. Because to be fair, very few people care about the migrants, about the mothers and the children that took that risk and didn't know how to swim, didn't have life jackets, most probably didn't have enough food or water or sleeping conditions, but they're prepared to take that risk to have a better life. And that's how you have one, two, three generations of immigrants in certain countries because the children's children's children that survived and say, I'm going to make it. I'm going to be better because of my grandparents, because of the sacrifices my grandparents made. Nobody really cares. Nobody really cares. That's why I didn't get any traction. Because you look at them and it's borderline a bit depressing. You don't want to see it. You quickly click over to something more exciting and stay glued to Ocean Gate because these were five wealthy people, all men, no black, got to call it like it is, and they were rich. And they got all of this attention. And I am sorry for the lives that were lost. Because as far as I'm concerned, a life is a life. And that's the thing. And uh, for those of you that have watched Titanic or watched these period films, especially the English, they had the upstairs and they had the downstairs people. Those that were on the upstairs, there were the owners and the guests, 
and then you had the downstairs and those were the servants and the cleaners and the bus boys and the servant quarters, those were the downstairs. But when the Titanic sank, which it actually did in 1912, if I know my history, the bodies were laid out side by side, the master and the servant. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are in death. You're sinking, you're sinking, you're going down. And so, you know, it just gave me a sense of pause. And I do this all the time. And I think it became even more acute when Kobe Bryant passed away. Because somebody said he was too big to die. And in many ways, it wasn't that I, f I, it was, I felt that way too. It wasn't so much that he was too big to die for me. It was that he had so much of life left to live. He was young. He had just retired from basketball. He had a beautiful wife. He had even more four beautiful daughters, of which the youngest wasn't even one year old at the time. It seemed so unfair because he had all of this in front of him. But for me, the beggar on the street has the same right to life has the same right to turn his world around, to get off of the streets, to get himself a job, to move forward and live this life. And at the same time, you can find, because this happened to me, you can find a man on the street that has been living on the streets for years, for years, and he's still there. And nothing has happened to him. He hasn't been knocked down. He hasn't been attacked by wild animals. He hasn't fallen sick. He's still there. Because we as human beings, we value lives. We give value to certain lives. We believe this life is of more value. This life is not of, this, of that much value or even interest. The Greek authorities were following this ship for 12 hours and they even knew that it was going through engine trouble and they did nothing. It wasn't their business. They were less concerned. These people were nothing. These people are no people. These people are not worthy to save. And yet, for Ocean Gate Submissible 5, the whole world was alert. For four or five days, we kept on looking, searching, finding, looking, searching. When Kobe passed away, which was a hit even to me, and I didn't know him, I'd never met him. Never. You just see him, you know. It was a bad week. Why here? Why do we, as human beings, put value on some lives and why do we not value others? Because of the success that they've had, because of the money that they have made, because of the celebrity status that they have. Promise you. Why are human beings like this? It's just a food for thought. And that's my take on it. The submissible five have every right to go deep sea diving if they want to. I think for me it's just terribly unfortunate that this was not engineered properly. That there were problems and issues with this submissible. And it was not 
It was not, it, they should never have gone down there. And I think also we should leave sleeping dogs, let sleeping dogs lie as they say. The Titanic is down there for a reason. If you cannot pull it up, leave it be. Watch the film. We know what happened. The waters are dangerous. They will swallow you up. That was why again in the, my last episode I said, let us be very careful with our babies from four years old down. Make sure that they've got their swim jackets on, that you have pool covers to cover your swimming pools. Educate yourself before you have a pool. Because as calm and as inviting and enticing that water is, is equally as dangerous as fire. It will swallow you up. The other day I heard about a young boy, I think they went on a cruise or something like that. Out of a dare, he jumped off the boat. They never found him. That was it. I think he was a, a high school student. They went, you know, on all of these um, school trips. Used to go to, I went to a lot of school trips when I was younger. It was a school trip he went to. And on a dare, he jumped off the boat and went into the water. Dangerous. Don't do it. This was dangerous. You don't blow people off and say, oh, it's fine, I know what I'm doing. It's cost you your life. That's all I can say. I think what's sad is that the 19-year-old boy didn't want to go. But he decided, okay, I'll go. So we have the submissible five, and we have the Greek coast 700 women and children that died and could have been saved and got little to no coverage at all. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click the notification button, my darlings, and I will see you guys sooner than later. All of my love.